Welcome to all of you. This is the second video regarding uh, 3D Viewer software. In this video, we are going to uh, observe the, some basic functions which was remaining to cover in the previous video, in the first video of the 3D Viewer. So, let's start. <coughs> when we are going to open this uh, uh, software, uh, you can observe initially by default the structure which is uh, available or visible to us, that is a B structure having the particular animation and uh, it is in complete uh, continuous in motion with the help of this loop animation mode. So here we are going to observe some uh, two, three functions which are comes under the uh, environment and lightning and the second one grid and views. First of all in the uh, environment and lightning, uh, the first of all you can observe here the different theme structures are given. As per the requirement, you can select any one theme and you can change the uh, outer look or uh, aesthetic of that particular object or model which is present on the uh, screen such as if I'm going to consider the first theme <coughs> which is nothing but having the particular color shade and in that you can observe by zooming it what are the changes has been done uh, in the particular color combination you can observe similarly the second one you can observe it is having somewhat dark shade then if you are going to select the next theme likewise you can select the particular theme as per your requirement or as per your choice for your particular project or for particular uh, work to understand the <coughs> how the pro uh, software is working and next thing uh, uh, <coughs> in the lightning you can observe by default uh, the light rotation is there it, it it will create the shadow of the particular uh, object you can observe in this angle then we are going to rotate this you will find out as per the position of this uh, particular sun type of structure is there the shadow will be at that particular location if I'm going to create here you can if I'm going to rotate here you can observe the shadow which is created at a particular direction okay then below that uh, three four options are there regarding lightning you can observe here in that the light light one uh, you can select the color combination either uh, RGB or HSP these are nothing but the two different type of uh, color combination which is used for the stationary or you can say that uh, for a particular uh, model which is uh, required to do the edit work similarly you can observe the second option is also available in that also you can do the changes then the ne next one after that the next function that we are going to observe the grid and view in that particularly if you are going to observe the rotation of the object if you are going to do with the help of mouse it is also reflected here means which type of or from which direction we are observing to the object that is from the front side we can select the front portion of this cubicle structure if you want to rotate the object you can with the help of this uh, arrow marks you can rotate the object you can observe the side view the next side view you can observe here when you are going to click on the top and bottom arrow it will create or it will show the top view of the particular object similarly the bottom view as per the requirement you can observe the object okay this is the uh, by default option then in the preset you can observe again the six different options are there they are nothing but isometric right isometric left then uh, cabinet these are the predefined options are available and below that again you can find out the some projection methods are there as per the graphical or design point of view uh, uh, here four different options are available that is automatic perspective orthographic and oblique when we are going to select a particular option, you will find out some changes you will observe in the particular uh, view of or particular object. Uh, you can observe in the automatic, you will observe a particular position of the object somewhat nearer to you. Right now it is having some... In the automatic format, we can observe, we can rotate the object as per our requirement. But when we are going to change the... Uh, projection mode that is orthographic projection then you will observe somewhat near that object will come to the nearer means the direction of observer is exactly uh, perpendicular to the object or the model then if you are going to select the oblique mode here again two more options are available we can rotate this uh, portion or you can select the position of the observer means as per the observer position you can observe the object also gets rotated means we are if you required any particular structure uh, from a particular direction in that case we can use this option but at uh, by default we have to keep as it is as automatic 
then the next option is uh, grid visibility so if i'm going to select the grid visibility right now you are you are observing here it is hidden one means grid is not present if i'm going to click it, uh, click here and uh, we are going to uh, make the use of that grid view you can observe below the object a grid structure is available means we can uh, analyze that we can understand the object is present at this position but when we are going to deactivate it you can observe randomly the object is visible to us it is again as per the requirement you can select the particular grid view or uh, activate it or deactivate it if you are going to use the grid view again you can observe the two more options that is spacing if you are going to use it automatically by default it will be having 0.1 and if you want to change the grid spacing in that case suppose i am going to consider 0.01 you will find out the grid or mesh type of structure is present here it is changing the structure again if i am going to consider 0.5 you will find out some changes are there okay means as per the requirement we can select the grid spacing as well as a major grid line uh, every okay so here by default the 10 value is there again we can change it up to the 5 15 as per the requirement and you will see that the respective changes in this grid structure okay so these are the some basic options which was remaining in the previous video so these are the complete uh, user interface or the functions which are present in the 3d viewer we have covered in the next video we are going to learn about how to make the use or how to use the 3d uh, library in the 3d viewer so thank you so much for watching the video